Hey guys, me and my little slime collab blob welcome you back to another video. Um, I think I might have to change the representative soon to maybe like one of the new heroes, but he's just he's just a vibe. Look at him, look at him bounce away. Um, anyway, thanks for joining for another one. Um, very quickly before we jumped into the video, uh, I, I don't want to be one of these, one of those YouTubers, but I do want to very quickly say that I very much appreciate all your support, guys. It's been fantastic, but only 90, only 91.6% of you aren't subscribed. So that's all I'll say about that. Um, you know, I do really appreciate you guys joining and, you know, if you don't want to subscribe, don't feel like you have to, but that is, I'd be, you know, be great to help build the channel and help you guys subscribe. Um, either way, we'll jump into the content. Um, today, a few of you are asking to see my Brawl team. Um, so what I wanted to do today was just kind of uh, run through my Brawl team, like the strategy I use, um, what teams I use for it and why I do that, um, and some recommendations that I will give you guys and, and what I've seen. Um, I will be doing a no holds barred one, so I'll literally just be talking to you as if you're my best mate, so this is not any strategy to try and uh, improve my Brawl score or anything like that. Uh, I'm hoping that... <laughs> Well, not hoping, but you guys might start beating me now, depending on the teams you start using. So this might be a detriment to me and I might get less points for it, but hey, let's let's do it anyway. So um, for those who aren't aware, the Brawl is basically like PvP, except uh, you set up three different teams uh, and those three different teams will then fight uh, the three different teams from the enemy, right? So if I'm going to a Brawl fight here and I ready up against uh, DLM Popo, um, basically there's his... Uh, three teams set up and then there's my three teams so basically your first team goes against their first team second team second team and so on and so forth right uh, and basically whoever wins the best two out of three uh, will then win that fight and then either you'll get um, a victory match reward or you'll go up in ranking if they are a higher ranking than you as well um, so yeah I hope that makes sense and then as you guys go up in ranking you get a better uh, brawl reward and then you can spend those tokens with glocks as well um, but be real the team you're look that you're looking here to see my teams so let's do it and i'll explain what i do and why i do it so actually before we go into this because uh, you guys can probably help me set my team as well i will show you from a overview perspective so from here so this gives you a good really good overview of um basically the, the the three teams that i use um so i'll explain why in a second so uh, i used to play another game uh where it was a similar setup like this and my strategy was honestly always to have your weaker team go first uh, and the logic basically behind this was that means they would put their best team usually on the first the first two would be like their best their best first and second team right so for me it would be like okay if i put my worst team third and my best team first that means my best team takes on their second best team and then my second best team takes on their third best team so it's a bit of a gamble because if you lose the first one then lose the second one you're done um but for me it was kind of been the most successful in these kind of style of games so that's always been the way i've done it um as you can see the actual CC difference isn't that crazy anymore um because i have started to build up my demon team as i've been mentioning in other videos so my demon team's actually getting quite strong now. The only weak link is just uh, an, really an unbuilt Hendrickson in the back. Um, but this is kind of the, the setup that I run. So on top of having, you know, my, f my best team go second and my second best team go third, I do try and group it into um, types of teams, if that makes sense. So uh, basically I have the demon team. In the first team, I have just like an OP team in the second. Like this is just basically a taunt of the one ultimate Escanor and then Trader Melee just for lots of damage. Uh, and then my third team is actually my angel team. Um, so basically what I do here is I go, okay, uh, first team is demon team because they synergize really well together. Because the thing as well with the brawl is, as you guys may or may not know, you don't, it's, it's AI based. So you guys don't actually get to do the fights, right? So... For me, you want to build the most consistent teams and the ones that synergize the best together without help. So the one thing I found with the human team, right? The human team is awesome. Like if I go... Yeah, here, the human team, right? The human team is really cool, but it, rely, it relies a lot on you taunting with Arthur, you uh, heal buffing with Barn, and then using his ultimate and stuff when he has proper stacks, right? Whereas the AI will just do it automatically. So for me, I was like, I don't necessarily love that so i was like the demon team just applies darkness right with estrosa so 
you're just gonna be it's just gonna do damage no matter what you use right ideally obviously with the melee you want to time it for this true magic but you'll still do a decent chunk of damage right uh Escanor, right, just does damage no matter what. Trader Melee, he kind of wants stacks and is passive to proc, but still just does damage. And then same thing with the Angel Team, they're just purely based around, you know, stancing, buffing, doing damage. So this is kind of the way I set it up. So uh, when you do it, it will actually tell you like who's in what team, right? So here you can see I'm actually missing out on King. I could probably use King in some regard, in somewhere in here. Um, but that's a kind of I kind of like the way this team is done. So uh, for me, the logic behind the demon team is I have the uh, my channel is probably my least built out of like all of the all of the teams apart from maybe Tamil because he doesn't have he's not hundreded right. Um, so basically, I put Tamil link on him because I, ideally I wouldn't mind him countering in the brawl, and then obviously applying darkness to the enemies. It makes him a little bit less squishy. Uh, Escanor has uh, Sario link, and then. Melly just has a 6-6 six, six ultimate from, from Brunhild. So basically it's kind of set up that um, this team can kind of survive and apply darkness, right? The other thing you've got to be kind of smart about is like you have to use different links as you go along. You can't use the same ones the whole time and your gearing and stuff matters for each hero. Um, so for example, this Melly has a different set of gear to this Melly and I can't have, make them have the same. So for me, it's like, okay, what are my three best teams and the ones that synergize the best together? So Demon, again, uh, Purgatory, Melee, Escarosa. So these guys are basically Applied Darkness. esterosa has got a 3-6 ult now, 5-6 ult, but it's not that good, and then 3-6 ult. So if I can get these guys to ult, I can pretty much win. Um, and they're both really, and they're pretty tanky with Tamiel Link and a 20% damage reduction. Here it's like, I have Hendrickson because if... Chandler dies or Melee dies, then I can still bring him out and he can still AoE and apply darkness for Esterosa. That's kind of my thought process. And also if Esterosa dies, then he'll come out and he'll still get the damage reduction from Melee. Um, I would love to have like uh, Zeldris uh, in the back. Where is where Omnius Nether was Zeldris? Where is he? He sees way down, unfortunately, because I haven't ever so I would love to have him here. Um I don't know if that works though in PvP. I don't know if that means brawl as well, but um, that's ideally my other my backline unit that I'd want for this team. But yeah, this is my current setup. Here again, there's not much to explain, right? It's just high DPS, attack crit gear on melee, attack crit gear on es on uh, Escanor, Barn in the back for the damage, and then Deanne for the taunt. Um, these guys are basically just there to survive uh, and dish out a ton of damage. There's no real, you know, synergy here. It's just well, there is, I suppose, with De Deanne Taunt and these two, but it's basically Deanne's used to keep them off my Escanor and my melee and then just dish out the damage. Um, and then finally, you have the, the Goddess team, right? The Angel team. So it says I've dropped in CC because I've actually got the attack crit gear on Sariel. So when you equipped, basically equipped your best gear and your best people for this, hit save. And then once it's saved, you can then go move gears and stuff around if you need to. Um, but yeah, this is the way I've got it. So basically, Sariel, so I have his Holy Relic, and I also have uh, Tamil's Holy Relic as well. So um, they work really nicely together. Um, I also have uh, Margaret's Holy Relic as well. Um, but basically, so buff and stance together will help each other's passives. This will help with Sariel, and then Liz obviously feeds off these guys as well. So this is just a, a standard angel synergistic team um, that I run, and I will always run... Um, so I've actually got oh, okay, interesting. So card sets as well. Um, oh, okay, here we go. So we actually need to make sure we have the right card sets on each of them as well because um, card sets matter here as well. So for these other two, I've just kind of gone for a max card set uh, just for how much damage you can put out. Um, and then here I've actually got the demon card set as well because that works as well. So these guys get the... Get the better card sets so i will quickly put the attack crit gear back on here and there we go so now we've got a standard standard setup so this is like i said the teams that i run um you just want to make sure that you're smart with the way you assign your your links i could probably actually change these links slightly around so i want to keep that for crit damage that's fine because he's six out of six. I could probably give Deanne a slightly better link here. Um, ideally, obviously, you want Tamiya link on Deanne, but my Deanne's a bit tankier than my Chandler, so I'm okay with having it around this way because I can only give 
one link at a time, right? So maybe if I do, Scotty's got a five out of six alt. I could do that. And then we're okay with that one. There we go, 282. So it does matter who you give gear to. Let's see who else we can we can boost. Yep, that works. Steriary, six out of six. That boosts that up to 75. I wonder what, Arthur, I've surely got a high, I think I've got a higher alt than Arthur as well. Let's have a quick look. What have we got? Um, no, these are all one out, man. A lot of one out of six alts for me. Um, okay, I think Arthur's going to be the best pick here. That's a shame, I thought I'd had a better, better setup than that, but... That, oh wait. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So basically 265, 282, and 275. So as I said, basically my best teams, um, you know, third worst in the first place, and then so on and so forth. Just making sure everyone's got the right gear. Yeah, that's fine. And then, yeah, cool. So we are good to go, guys. So this is basically my brawl team that I use and why I use them. Um, let's do a... I've actually had pretty decent success with this. I've fought a lot of people that are potentially higher up than me as well, um, and, and actually won. Um, now, the other thing that I do recommend, uh, if you don't want to build your team like I do, and maybe you do have like Suicide Liz or uh, Suicide Fraudron, they're really good heroes to have in your Brawl team, right? Because you are fighting AIs, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, guys. Um, because you are fighting AIs, what you can do is your AIs will pretty much instantly kill these heroes, right? Which means you'll instantly fill alt gauges. So for example, at the top here, like if I had this Merlin and I had, because I don't have either of them, unfortunately yet, I do want to get them and I will get them, but I haven't, I haven't been able to pull either of them yet. So I'd probably do Suicide Liz, like as low level as you can to get her, to get her unique, put it in a team with like a heavy, like AOE ultimate, and then have this green Merlin in the back, because then you get your ult faster and then you can just alt wipe the other team. And then I put this Fraudron in with, again, another team that has, like, a high uh, high AoE ult, right? Because um, then that means you basically just wipe. Um, so what I'd probably recommend in terms of ultimates is obviously the Escanor ultimate, if you've got him built. That just does so much damage. Uh, King ult, if you've got King ult built. Uh, Trader Melee ult, if you've got Trader Melee ult built. New Purgatory Melee, if you've got Purgatory Melee built. Um... I'd probably, like, unless you've got a 660N and then a 660 Liz, I'd probably stay away from these guys because these ones take a little bit longer to build up, right? Like, DN requires you to do damage to her, and then Liz it requires turns to pass. Esterosas can be decent if you have been running a demon team as well, um, but he usually relies on more darknesses and debuffs and stuff like that, right? Um, who else? Basically, yeah, any super strong AoE. Uh, alt will do the job and will allow you to basically, if you have one of these guys in your team, uh, or one of the Suicide Lizards or Fraudrons in your team, you'll basically wipe right. So, as you can see, my combat class is 822, his is 743. I would hazard a guess. Oh, no, okay, so he doesn't have any... Uh, so usually when you see, like, a hero, like, uh, like a combat class like that, it means they've got, like... A suicide Liz or a Fraudrin, there you go, right? So only 709, but you've got Fraudrin here and it's got Escanor. So, like, the AI would automatically kill the Fraudrin and then the Escanor would just wipe you. So that's a really good way to build your uh, Brawl team as well. Um, and obviously you can skip the battle or not skip the battle if you want to. Um, I obviously always skip the battle because it's an AI and you just watch your team fight their team. So it's nothing uh, kind of crazy and, and this is kind of a, a bit of a tough uh, mode anyway for people to get behind. Uh, but yeah, so the victory reward is if you get three rewards every day. Three rewards, sorry, three victories every day. Um, and then the Brawl Rank reward resets once every day as well. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's how I kind of set up my team. Demon team, just damage team, and then an angel team. Um, and I'm doing okay. Yeah, like I said, about 3480, um, which I just showed you guys on my account showcase video. Um, but yeah, if you guys have got any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. But I hope that helps. And I'll catch you in the next one.